As amazing as it seems, the idea that the Earth is flat instead of a sphere has been growing in popularity in recent years. In my conversations with friends who hold this belief, they often present me with memes, a different understanding of physics, and a lot of conspiracy theories that are somehow intertwined with their flat Earth worldview. Have I been deceived my whole life? Could they be right and the Earth is actually flat? Without being able to make observations from outside the perspective of the Earth, how can we be sure? Since flat earthers refuse to accept any data that comes from NASA or any other governmental or scientific source, how can we possibly test to see if the Earth is flat or spherical? It seems to me that the simplest way to test the flat Earth model would be to strip everything down to a single observation that anybody can do. In my opinion, the simplest way to do this is to observe a sunset. If the Earth is flat, the disk of the Sun will not set below the horizon. It will fade away into the distance, smaller and smaller until it disappears from view. If the Earth is a rotating sphere, the disk of the Sun will appear to move below the horizon as the Earth turns. These are two very different predictions that can easily be observed by anyone. Okay, here's my attempt to record a sunset to see if the sun, if the disk of the sun actually moves below the horizon or if it fades into the distance. And this will test to see whether a flat Earth or a uh, spherical Earth best fits the observations that we're going to have. Uh, here's the setup I have. I have just a regular Sony camera with a sun filter that I made out of some eclipse glasses. So hopefully that'll work and allow us to see the disk of the sun without having all of the um, light diffraction things that happen when you put, point a, a camera right into the sun. So let's see how it does. To show what the camera's picking up, so nobody thinks I'm faking this thing. We'll look through the eyepiece. Let's see if we can see what it's seeing. You can kind of see that, not too good though. But that's what's being viewed. This is a very simple test to see if the observations match a spherical Earth or the predictions of a flat Earth. Essentially, does the Earth fade, does the Sun fade into the distance or does the disk of the Sun drop below the horizon? So, this is a simple test anybody can do, but I'm going to do it for you. Well, as we look at the sun, it's setting now, and when we look through the lens, we can see that the disk of the sun is actually being eclipsed by the horizon. It's moving below the horizon, and it's not disappearing into a uh, pinpoint and fading away. So, which theory does that fit? And there, it's just about gone. Zoom in the very last little bit. So as it fades away, what do we see? There it goes. And it is gone. Well, let's take this off. Oh. Ah. So there's the lovely view and the sun is now disappeared below the horizon still pretty but you cannot see the sun the reason you cannot see the sun is it is below the horizon it did not disappear into the distance into a pinprick the disk of the sun moved below the horizon that is exactly what's predicted with a spherical model of the earth and it contradicts what is predicted by the flat earth model a few nights later, I was recording a sunset for a separate video project when I noticed that I could see the sun quite clearly due to the amount of smoke in the air from uh, nearby fires. This allowed me to be able to film the sun setting without having to use a solar filter. This allows us to have two different ways to view a sunset, one with the solar filter and one without, using the smoky uh, air in the sky as a solar filter to compare the two. Now, we can make the same observation for the exact same reasons with a setting moon, 
without the need for a solar filter. I recorded this moon set the day after a full moon, so the sky is brighter than I would have liked. However, it was cloudy the day before, but not this morning. You do what you can. We can still observe if the moon fades into the distance or if the disk of the moon moves below the horizon. What do you see? So there you go. An easy observation that can be replicated by anyone. We observed that the disk of both the sun and the moon moved below the horizon. Now that should never happen if they were moving around the sky above a flat earth. Those who believe in a flat earth who watch this video will probably still believe in a flat earth. To them, please tell me why I'm wrong in my understanding. Or better yet, do your own observations and see for yourself if they match mine.